Good morning! How's it going? Right then, today it's the 27th of March 2022 and it's uh, Mother's Day over here in the UK. Uh, big shout out to all the mums in the world, all the mums in the world who do such a brilliant job bringing up us rough kids in life. Uh, big shout out to my mother, Jacqueline Gamble. Love you loads mum. As always, as always, and also my two adopted mothers. We've got Teresa Sam, my mother-in-law. Love you loads. And also Jacqueline Houlihan. Love you as well. You know I do. Happy Mother's Day to the three. I'm lucky and blessed. I've got three mothers in my life. Three of them. Some people don't even have one, but I've got three. Tell you what, though, it's costing a flaming fortune. All these flowers and flaming chocolates and stuff anyway. Right, so, Bridgewater Canal, Lee Branch. All the crew are out today, virtually. Uh, it's Splosh's pick. Uh, Splosh Brian, as everybody knows him. Uh, right then, let's get on with it. Straight in with the uh, drag queen, no messing about today. And uh, let's see what we can find from here. Right then, game on. Right then, there's the drag queen. Double-sided clamp magnet from Online Magnets, 700 kilo each side. All the stats are there at the side, as you can see. Today, absolutely lovely day. The weather is going to be smashing today. As you can see, no wet gear on at all today. Don't need it. Get the t-shirt out. Let's get a bit of a suntan. Let's get this face a little bit browner and these arms. Right then, up. Oh. Remember, if you've got any coins in your pocket, don't put your magnet near it, because it... Right. First three live chunks, are we ready? There is metal sidings all the way down here, so I'm really, I'm gonna have to watch what I'm doing. Uh, make sure before I bring my magnet all the way to the end, Pull it out at the side. We don't want to be getting stuck on all these sidings. Everybody say hello to Tim. Say hi, Tim. Hello, everybody. Hi. First chuck, nice big bar. Looks like some fencing. There we go. Bit of fencing, first chuck of the day. Lovely. Some uh, some electrical cable, some fishing line, all sorts tied up there. Not sure what it all is. Some earthing cable of something, I'm not sure. Chuck number one. Hey, look at that already. We're already on the. Oh, so, oh there we go. Marvellous. I'll do two more chucks in a sec. I just need to speak to Tim about last night's quiz. Oh. Take two. Chuck number two. One bolt on the end of the magnet. One bit of a, a rack of some kind. Not quite sure what that is. It's a bit of a folding rack. No, not a clue what that is. Some kind of a box thing. Opens up to a box, yeah. Kind of a box thing there, I don't know if you can see that, yeah. Mental. A bit of electrical conduit. It's a pipe that's got a section up there for the cables to go through. 
Perfect as well. Number three. Chuck number three, a chopped up bike. Bit of a bike frame there, full of uh, weed, plastic bags. Put them in the little box, out the way, little bag. Yeah, there we go. You can see, bit of a frame. So, looks like we're going to be getting quite a few bits and pieces from here. Three chucks, three items straight away. Okay, then, I'll switch it off. And as soon as I find anything else, I'll bang it back on again. Okay then. Literally chuck number four then. That's crazy. Have a little look. I've got an old water meter cover, as you can see there. See there, how good's that? That's uh, MWB water, it says. So just had some kind of a, it looks like a hand railing, like a hand bar. Obviously, at that side there, it goes round the corner. As you can see there, that's the bit where I come across and then go round, shoot off that way. That's the upstand for the actual uh, the handrail itself. Yeah, yeah. Looking at the other side of the banking, there's a possibility that it could have actually came from around that corner because it does go slightly in. So uh, yeah. That's a little bit of weight to that as well. Okay, so I've got the front side of an old cold fire uh, that drops down and you release the coals and you clean the coals from the back of the fire. This is a little drop lid that drops down at the very front of it there. As you can see, it's a bit, uh, bit tated, but old cast thing, lovely. It's a little fence. Thing, only a little tiny hook on the end of that one there, but yeah, another one of them fence things that you uh, corner everything off with. Oh, bars, as you can see there. Quite a long one. This place is full of bars, absolutely full of them. And so these look like the, the part of a basket. That, that little frame that I've just had out, the square one. I've just got another one out here as well. And I think it's part of one of them baskets uh, for, your, for your, like your bathroom and stuff that you put all your little, like a little tidy that you put in like a, a frame and these slide in and out. So it, that's what it's looking like then. There's uh, a, bit, a little bit more of them. Parts of a push bike. You've got your cogs there. Let's just give that a little bit of a swirl for the water. Maybe I won't give it a swell in the water because that's all it's left me with. I have to go and get that back now with magnet. <laughs> Try again. There we go. There's the cog of the bike. Again, it's been chopped up. For some reason, people like to uh, chop up the bikes and put them in the canal. God knows. Must be for some insurance type of thing or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, a bit of a cog system. One of the garden umbrellas again, or out of a beer garden. Looks like it's just out of a somebody's garden now. Just throws <coughs> big umbrellas up. It's what, mate? I think people have never heard of a tip. No. Mm. Disgusting what we find in here, mate. Today's first sash weight.
There we have it. You wouldn't think about it underneath there, but there's definitely a little sash weight underneath there without a doubt. Okay, so I had the uh, front of that coal fire out earlier on. I think myself, this is now one of the plates that goes on the inside of the actual uh, coal fire. Uh, from the shape of it and everything, by the look of it. So there must be a coal fire at some point down here. So let's see if we can carry on, see if we can get the lot out. Have a look how old that thing is. Let's look at that. Really old Kiris push bike. It's got the solid rubber wheels on. It's got the stabilizer on one side there. That's quite old that, it really is. It's quite an old, an old style of uh, push bike for a kiddie. Lovely. Bring the funk back. It's either that or it's bed knobs and broomsticks time. Look at that. A headboard off an old steel bed. How crazy is that? It's got little flowers on the side there as well, on the top of it there. Look at that, eh? I don't know, single bed. Another part of a push bike, look at that one. This is called a gravel, gravel something. Gravel shifter or something like that, not got a clue. Uh, now, it's not unreadable, to be honest with you. Unreadable. But yeah, another little push bike frame. Got myself uh, an exhaust box there, uh, and it's actually it's off a uh, Ferrari Testarossa. Uh, this one, it's uh, a red one. You can tell it's off a red Testarossa. Definitely a nice, uh, nice back box there. Lovely. Another pair of forks. Off a push bike. some kind of really old cast iron stand that's got four little round balls on the bottom spins around a tiny bit then it's got a metal pole on it and a base like that but dip some weight to that uh, not sure what it was used for budgie cage that's what it was used for a budgie cage I'm going to go for nice big strong stand really some weight at the bottom of that that wasn't going to topple over whatever it was Again, another part of this old cast iron fire. Or it could even be another, a completely different one, I'll be honest with you. Because this one's in a little bit more good condition. So maybe there's a couple of cast iron fires down here. Who knows? It's a good idea for people going magnet fishing on the canals. Use a bit of repellent. Uh, you get lots of horse flies, all kinds of things to try and bite you on the other side of the canal. Give this a little squirt, jobs are good. It's not a dupe, but it's good enough. That's an old, uh, not sure what it could be off. I don't know if it's off some kiddie's uh, little bike or something. Little trolley not sure but really solid wheels again solid rubber wheels on it could be a shopping trolley who knows little pull along shopping trolley another front again yeah I'm getting these constantly now more fronts of these grills and I'm sure if you if you clean them up there'll be a lovely pattern along the front edge of that there uh, for the old coal fires again this that must be my, my fourth one now that I've had Another sash weight, very crusty. That'll all knock off later on. Be able to uh, get some shape out of that. Look who's here! It's Josh from the Muddy Waters. Oh, how good's that? Oh, and it's not just Josh, is it? It's the Tameside Trailway Man Guy person, isn't it? What is it? What's your proper channel called? What? Tameside Train Guy. Tameside Train Guy. Follow him on YouTube. He, get, he takes pictures of all trains and stuff and make when they make all different noises, the ah, ah, 
all of that lot. It, it records it and plays it. How good's that? Anyway, have a look at this. Look at that little sign I've got there with flowers on. How good's that? Not sure what that's off. But it looks lovely, that does. It's all little, like little... Might be better that way up. There you go. All like little flowers on it. All been enamelled at one point. But uh, not a clue what it's off. Again, could be just off the side of a boat, really. The, uh, the decorative side of it. Nice. So this one, I think, is a motorbike frame. Quite a big frame, this one. I'm sure it's off a motorbike of some kind. I'm not sure. It's a big frame. Anyway, whatever it is, I'm not sure what it was. Not a clue. Maybe one of the other lads might be able to tell me what it is. But uh, yeah, big frame. Also, at the side of me, if you can see, Dan's there. Say hello, Dan. Hello, Dan. Marvellous, Dan. You have a look down the canal all the way down there there must be 15 20 of us out today full team all the way down there it's great loads of people i think it's a bike train stick you might go a motorbike train i can't work it out mate it's only thin though yeah the old stuff also, it'll go that way up, really, like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's racing. Yeah. 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 So I've got Ashley and Steve having a little look at that frame there now because uh, they're, they're the motorbike kiddies them too. They know quite a bit about frames and stuff like that. But the pair of them are having a little bit of a discussion there now to see... Uh, that, that up there, the tank up there. Yeah. What it all is. So, I've not got a clue. I think we got so... Uh, is the man of the moment, Splosh Brian. Brosh. Yeah. Brosh. Brosh. Bit like bros, but not homosexuality side. Yeah, so we'll leave that way. We'll leave Brosh, Jan. Tell us the idol. Because we can. And it's Splosh's pick uh, today. He's, 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 aimed, he's got us all here today. What's going on here? Oh, hello, Sue. What's these? Oh, yeah, look at this now that Sue's yeah. just made for us. There we go. Oh, for you. Uh, How good's that? Stores, these are for uh, when we put the uh, scrap metal uh, to the side now. Sue's made these in a little plastic uh, covers. So we can put our name, uh, tag uh, the place, who's it agreed with, the scrap man, what time, the date. How are you building that? That's brilliant, that. Thank you, Sue. Yeah, that's great, that. Come your tracks, dudes. Yeah. It's the only way forward. Always make sure. You always you... know some snakes in the grass here and there, and they don't mind sticking the tongue out. Yeah. Well, it's least wanted. Certain people are knocking about, and they, they, they just, uh, I don't know why they do it, but they think anyway, it's clever. You're welcome to uh, witness me and Paul Embracer. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey, proper man hug. That's what we want. Embrace me as your father. Hey, hey, it's Mother's Day, but you could be... Oh, shit, it's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day, Mum. I do love you all. I love Paul as well. I'm on You're not here, Mum. Paul is. All right, I'm leave it, Mum. I'm on it. Said to them all, happy Mother's Day around yeah. the world, all the mums around the oh, world. Oh, yeah, happy Mother's Day. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Yeah, that's a god. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Uh, Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> anyway, it's... And a uh, happy fucking Mother's Day. Yeah. I'll cut that one out. I don't nah, won't. Nah. Do that what one. we'll do is we'll put one of them fucking bleeps in it. <laughs> I fucking oh, love the fucking bleeps. Fucking try and do this fucking one. <laughs> right then, that's Brian. Nutcase. Uh, I just got slightly carried away then. I will be honest with you. I will, I will definitely be honest with you. But look, oh, this, I've not had one of these yet. This is my first one I've ever had. It's an old sewing machine. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Look at that. Uh, it's got some writing on the middle there. Uh, so I'm gonna, it's, I don't think it's gonna be a singer, is it? I very much doubt it. I'll get the brush on it. I'll get a brush on it and have a little look. But just look at that. An old, really old 
sewing machine. Oh, that's brilliant, that. That is proper made my day, that. Why would you throw that? I don't know, but I'm going to give it a little knock-off in a bit with the ammo. I'll let it uh, dry up a tiny bit, and then I'll, I'll show you later on. I'll show you later on what it should look like, or hopefully what it looks like. There is, there is a little drawing on the inside there with some writing. So if I can get a bit of clear picture of that, even better. Oh, I love it. So I've just tried to clean up that sewing machine, and it's not called a sewing machine, it's called a spool machine. Spool. And it looks like it's got an engraving of like a, it looks like an eagle of some kind in the middle of it, or like a, like a liver bird, to be honest with you, in the middle of it, on a brass plate, right at the bottom centre. So I really wish that I brought a wire brush out with me because it would have brought that up really, really well on the side of the canal. Thing to put in my box for next time, a wire brush. Marvellous, right then. Okay, so uh, Tracer has just had a little bit of a, a scratch with a little tiny implement to have a little look at the badge on that sewing machine that I've just got out. And it's actually called a Jones spool machine. Uh, I believe it's something to do with making bales for baling of some kind, I'm not sure, but oh, I'll tell you what, I'm really made up with that today. That, it's only early as well and I found that, loving it. Another day on the canal, another birthday surprise. This time, it's Daniel's, oop, DS magnet fishing. So we'll just show you now. Little thing we put together for Dan, just for his birthday. Here's Dan's little birthday surprise. And yours? His little birthday cake. Yeah, he, he's, oh. a, he's after me. Oh, AJ's going to be upset about all of this lot. Next, mine's the 4th of December. And there's a birthday boy! Oh. Whee! Oh. Some oh. crunchies for Dan. Oh. Brilliant. Oh. Not seen this guy for a while, have we? Morning. Hiya, John. Oh, You're OK, love. I'm fine. Oh. Yeah, it's the first seventh of April. It's every week, isn't it? It's like it's like a weekly thing, isn't it, Steve? Yeah. Absolutely yeah. crazy. We don't need to bring no butties no more. You filming now? Oh, it's insane. It has to be every week because there's that many of us. Just checking in front of my camera's clean. We're gonna break in June. There's no butties in June. This man's birthday. You know what we're missing today is the tunes, so we'll just have to sing this instead. <laughs> happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Daniel, happy birthday to you. Yay! Oh, that's cruel, that is. That's cruel. Oh. And Sue's made the butties again, aren't you, this week? So thank you very much, Sue, for making these little butties and stuff for Inga. Lovely. Hey, we've also got as well. Look, he's here again. Look, this this strange guy, Neil. Whoa! He keeps turning up. Keeps turning up. Magnet fishing with us. Invisible man, me. Love it. No, I'm the invisible man. That's why it's always here. <laughs> Keep his face out there. Nice one. Trace it. Hiya. Hiya. I've got one on the go there now. Tiny Tim, hobbling along. God bless us, everyone. Get this, eh? Marvellous. Marvellous. Yeah. Right then, so that's Dan's party. Every week, virtually now, we've got somebody's birthday coming along. So we just get the butties out, get the cakes out, make it nice for everybody on the canal. Right then. We're going to tuck into these sandwiches and then we're going to get back on the canal. Marvellous. Also, as well, it's Splosh's birthday! Hey! Hey! Splosh gets a little frezzy as well. As soon as one magnet, one car gets two birthdays. You get two birthdays. Yeah, Just, like Just like the Queen. Just like the Queen. 
Get me! Yeah, that's that's what that's what dreams are made of. All of that stuff there, all over the face. And there's Tiny Tim's made some little pictures, some cards, homemade cards. Open it up, Birkie card, homemade Birkie card. Actually, please, honestly. Don't expect to know this as well, like a couple then. Hi, old mate. I'm balancing. Can't be gone in a second. Classic. Lager. Mate, absolutely. Bog Stollocks. Love you. Uh, I've never seen that. Hey, we can look at Everyone. Look at that. There we go. Absolute bollocks of the dogs, that. Oh, I'm well done, mate. Where's it, Dan? Oh, yeah. You've been dead. Where was yours, Dan? My dad's over there. Dan got his card as well made by uh, Mr. Staple Production 2022. It's drawn him a nice little birthday card. How good's that for Dan? Brilliant. Right then, so uh, we're going to tuck in. Okay then, so as you can see, another little scooter. This one's absolutely gone. Look at that. Nice little pink wheels on it. Marvellous. Old brake system on the back as well. Loads coming out today. Right, so I've just had this huge thing out here. Uh, I think you can get, get it down there a little bit more. Okay, so this thing is actually a heat exchanger. Oh, huge cast thing. The water flows in at one end, runs through on the inside of all of that, the hot water. This is normally placed inside a big vat or a big vat of water. And then it heats it up, the actual water that it's flowing through. Uh, God knows what it's off comes from. Some in industrial units of some kind, I don't know, but yeah, that's what that is. A big heat exchanger. Lovely. Another one of them old uh, Yankee screwdrivers. You can see there. Lovely. Again, another one of these fronts off uh, the old coal fires. Another one. Another push bike. A rally, something, don't know what it is, but it's a rally. Another rally push bike. Right then, so on my last video, uh, the, the, well, one of my videos anyway, but it was last week's video, I found a bit of an adult toy and somebody told me what it was. Well, anyway, I've gone and found another one. Ow, ow. Something's going wrong here. If I'm finding these all the time, it's Anyway, Ryan wants it and James, so do you, do you want it? You, you can have that, yeah? yeah. Thanks, yeah. Right, set that. You can set that if you want. Thank you. Still got the batteries in it, so Still got the batteries right in. Yeah. Yeah. All different speeds, that'll come in handy, that will, right? Will. Lovely, that, isn't it? Yeah. Marvellous. Cheers, guys. Second week on the run, I've had... I've had... Unbelievable. OK, Alistair's just informed me that this is an old bench grinder. It's still got the, uh, the cutting wheel on it at the side there. This actually sits on top of your bench. Uh, it had a pulley wheel on it, and uh, at one end over here, there'd be a pulley wheel with a little motor, and that's uh, that's what that is. An old grinding bench grinder, for grinding up the sharpening your tools. That's nice, isn't it? Right then, okay, it's time to go. Uh, thank you very much for watching as normal, and uh, we've had an absolutely cracking day today. The full team's been out. I'll put the team in this top corner here so you can all see exactly who they are. And uh, like I say, I've had loads of stuff today. You'll see everything that I've had, hopefully. And uh, until next time, thank you for watching and take it easy.